the Ides of March. And in the Gospel today, Jesus gives us this encouragement or even an admonition or warning that before you go to the altar, if you have a disagreement with your brother, you should go put your gift at the altar and then settle your disagreement with your brother before you come back to the altar. It's a great piece of advice. You know, elsewhere in scripture, we hear about how spouses shouldn't go to bed angry, but should try to reconcile before they go to bed. Great advice in marriage counseling. But how many of us have carried a resentment against somebody who's offended us? And we don't do that. We go to communion, we go to mass, we um, even maybe put on like a fake exterior when inside we're burning or we're upset or we have such sort of like regret towards uh, others in our life. And Jesus is trying to say like, you don't have to live like that. You can actually make peace uh, before you come to him for communion. In fact, not only you can, you should. Uh, and what a relief it brings to people when we can sort of like lower the pride and just be humble and, you know, make the call and make the visit, write the letter, write the email, send the text and tell the person, whoever it is, it could be a spouse, a child, a sibling, a parent. Uh, so many people walk around with so much pent up anger that they don't need that it just takes a little humility to say, hey, you know, like, you know, I'm sorry and or I forgive you uh, for what you did to me. And it's not as hard as it seems. I think the devil likes to make it seem like it's impossible, I'm not capable, they're not capable of listening. But in so many cases that I've worked with, if somebody's humble and they write the letter, they, make the, the, they reach out, they can be forgiven and they can heal a lot of brokenness in our homes, in our families, in our world. And so I encourage you, before you go to the altar this Sunday, why not try to make peace with the person who maybe you feel has offended you and you have anger towards, or perhaps maybe you've offended and you need to settle accounts before you come to Jesus. En el Evangelio hoy, Jesús es dando a nosotros un, un excelente consejo cuando dice, antes de ustedes lleguen al altar, eh, deje su, su ofrenda eh, y vaya y vete a buscar la persona que ha, le ha ofendido o con quien usted tiene un tipo de enojo o rencor o rabia y haz la paz con tal persona antes de llegar al altar para comulgar o hacer su comunión con Dios. Es un excelente consejo. Todos nosotros tenemos es, estas situaciones en nuestra vida que hay alguien con quien tenemos una, una pelea, un enfrentamiento, un choque o quizás un rencor, un rabia justificado. Y hoy es viernes, antes de domingo, Quiero ofrecer otro desafío esta, esta, esta día de busca a la persona por una llamada, por un text, por un mensaje de, de red social, o por una carta, o por una visita. O puede ser su propio esposo, hijo, persona en, en tu hogar. Y si tiene algo contra ellos, ¿por qué no baja su orgullo, su soberbia? Eh, ¿Y por qué no póngase como humilde y pide perdón o ofrézcalo? un disculpa, un perdón, para hacer la paz antes de llegar a Cristo. No es tan complicado. A veces el enemigo Satanás quiere eh, hacernos pensar que ya no es posible y no puedo perdonar, yo no puedo como hacer la paz, pero eso es mentira. Con Dios todo es posible, todo es posible. Tú puedes hacer la paz con Cristo, todo es posible. Haz la paz, hermanos, y antes de llegar a la Eucaristía este domingo. Que se les bendiga. Amén. Amén.